Earlier this year, my fiance and I went into the shelter looking for a dog, but we somehow met the sweetest cat. The shelter said he was having trouble getting adopted because he was older and had a cloudy eye. We felt so sad when we heard his story. So after thinking about it, we decided to adopt him. But while we love our cat, Beppo, my fiance has always dreamed of having a dog. So we decided to open up our home again to another fur baby. Meet Chopper. And in case you were wondering, yes, his name is inspired by the anime One Piece. And here's how Beppo met Chopper. My fiance is currently picking up the puppy right now and I'm at home so I can make sure the house is comfortable for when the puppy gets home. But Beppo is from the shelter and we don't know how he's going to respond to the dog yet and everything. Hopefully they will get along because Beppo has no idea he is getting a friend. So Beppo has been sleeping with his blanket a lot. So we're going to put this in the room so that the dog can get used to Beppo's smell. This. This is where he'll stay while Beppo get used to all the sounds and then they can eventually meet each other. For whenever he's teething, otter and food bowl. We also got these so that he doesn't crawl underneath the bed for dog hair and grooming. It's also summertime so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the AC and just leave it on so that he doesn't get too hot when he get here. Oh my gosh, hi little buddy! Oh, <laughs> Kyle is on his way home and I think a couple of my friends are coming too and I'm just a little bit worried like what if they see each other? Beppo, we gotta go upstairs really quick buddy. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Come here Beppo. Come here. Beppo, come here. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. We are ready. Oh shoot, he's coming downstairs. No, 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 no. I made the biggest mistake and left the door open so Beppo sprinted downstairs. I was so worried, but luckily my fiance already put the puppy in the room. <gasps> Did you try holding his paw? Let me see. This is as big as your life. I was so shocked because I've never seen paws that chunky. Let me show you. It's literally the size of my friend's hand. It's so soft though. You can play with him and hug him whenever. Really? Yeah. Thank you for permission. He is so sweet. Look at him. Oh. Oh my gosh. While Chopper was getting familiar with the room and playing around, we noticed that Beppo was right at the door trying to peek inside. When I went to check on Beppo, I think he could smell the puppy on me. And I think he wasn't very pleased, but <laughs> we'll see. On the other hand, Chopper was having a grand old time with Beppo's blanket. Later that night, my fiancé stayed with Chopper and I stayed with Beppo. We're going to the vet to make sure he's good. We're fine. We're fine. It's lighter than Beppo. Yeah, he doesn't feel that light though. <laughs> Our cat is heavier. Well, they're more solid. <laughs> like, like, like size wise. So the vet said it's better if the puppy and the cat sees each other early on so that they can get acquainted with each other and get used to each other. So following the vet's advice, we decided to let them meet. Is that enough looking? Beppo, it's okay. Beppo. Should we just close the door now? No, no, no. Beppo, it's okay. It's not like Beppo is hissing or anything. He walked away? Yeah. After the meeting, I felt so bad because one, Chopper looked so sad. It's like he got rejected. And two, Beppo was so scared and sad. Found him sleeping upstairs alone. He didn't even want to go to the bathroom because he had to walk past Chopper's room. So we set up another litter box upstairs, but he still didn't want to use it. After 24 hours, I heard a noise outside my room and it was Beppo in the litter robot. Finally, he was using it again. So Beppo is hanging out right here. And then you can also see Chopper peeking out right here. Oh, Beppo, are you going to take a look? Oh, and he just goes by. <laughs> you can kind of see him peeking out. Hey, Chopper, you good? Hi. Meanwhile, here is Chopper. Let's take a moment to appreciate how adorable he is. Mm -hmm. 
So Chopper is sleeping and Beppo is just looking at the door. I think he wants to seize Chopper again and figure him out. Instead of letting them just look at each other, we try to do something different this time. Sit. Good sit. Good boy. Come on. Chopper, sit. Good sit. Chopper, stay. Good boy. So while we were training Chopper, we also rewarded Beppo for calm behavior. And this worked for a little while because we saw that Beppo got more comfortable being closer to Chopper. Chopper, look. Yes, good look. But Chopper is still a puppy, so sometimes it can get rough. Whenever he had too much energy, he would try to chase Beppo around and that scared Beppo. That was a lot for him because he saw him run. We saw Beppo lose confidence and started acting differently, so we knew we had to do something. The first thing we did was get taller cat trees. This allowed Beppo to have a safe space where Chopper can't reach him. Well, kinda sorta. Sometimes this happens too. <laughs> He's fucking so- <laughs> The puppy bear! Hey! And that's how the cute moments usually end. But at least we know that Chopper likes Beppo. The second thing we did was play with Beppo a lot more. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> he looks so funny. I'll also run around the house and I think that's his favorite. Predator mode. Oh shit. Oh, oh. I think playing like this actually helped Beppo gain a lot of confidence again. Like look how fast he runs and Chopper was there. After playing with Beppo, we usually like to give him a small treat or give him a whole meal. I think I learned this from Jackson Galaxy, but if you play with them and then give them a meal, it really feeds into their animal instinct, kind of like when they're hunting and then they caught their prey so they get to eat it, which makes them feel confident. The fourth thing we did was give Beppo a lot of love and attention. This just lets him know that Chopper isn't replacing him and he's a new family member. It's almost like having two kids and you're just reminding the older sibling that they're still loved. But even though this helped Beppo a lot, we were far from done. Beppo still wasn't fully comfortable with Chopper around yet because he's still a puppy and a little bit crazy sometimes. So we had to work on Chopper too. The first thing we did when we got Chopper was teach him all the basic commands. Focus. Yes. This included sit, stay, potty, and things like that. The second thing we did was to socialize and let him meet other dogs. On our way to where? Puppy date. I hope they get along. Be nice. Be nice. Stop Be nice, it. <laughs> oh, he's oh playing. My God. He's playing. <laughs> Spin attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're friends now. Is that your friend? We have to make sure they keep meeting each other though. Because if he comes back, like suddenly he's huge, she might be scared of him. <laughs> so On top of meeting other dogs, he also met a lot of people and we could tell he just loved being social. The third thing we did was also give him lots of love, attention, and play with them. Oh my gosh, he's almost the same size as you. Fourth thing, which was honestly the hardest, was to allow Beppo and Chopper to interact. We supervised at all times, but it was honestly really scary to see them get close to each other. But we knew that we had to let them get close in order for any type of friendship to form. You want to make friends? Hi, Chopper. Are you sad he won't pay attention to you? Sit. Yes, good boy. Want to say hi? Come on, let's say hi. Oh, you sad? You said your brother won't play with you? Oh yeah, he's he's stressed out because he's trying to bite his tail. Unfortunately, Beppo hasn't accepted Chopper, but he did let him sniff his butt one day. That's major progress because Beppo has never let him do that before. Beppo, it's okay. Leave it. Down. Yes, good boy. Chopper, leave it. Since Chopper started leaving Beppo alone more, I think Beppo felt more comfortable with him because out of nowhere, this happened.
Technically, they still aren't friends yet, but they are coexisting with each other. It's only been about three months, so we're hoping that they can form a friendship in the future. If you want to see daily updates, make sure you follow them on Instagram. Or now, let me show you the latest update that summarizes their relationship. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, I think Beppo is annoyed at Chopper, but he is tolerating and he doesn't run away like he used to. It kind of feels like Chopper is the annoying little brother and Beppo is trying to teach him boundaries. I'll keep you guys updated though, so make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.